Okay, Jeff Grubb here, GamesBeat. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of the Steam VR interface. Um, basically, Oculus Rift is out today. I'm in HTC Vive. Um, what do those two, what do those two things have to do with one another? Well, this is the Steam VR like store. Uh, basically, it's just like regular Steam. Uh, but and I'm sorry if I keep hitting the microphone. I'll try to delete those in uh, when I'm editing, but I might miss some. It's still hard to see the microphone when I'm uh, when I have my headset on. So I'll try to keep that to a minimum. Try to keep my controller up here. Um, so what I want to show you is kind of this store interface. Um, basically, this is where you can come to buy VR games. It only shows VR games. But uh, what is that sort of uh, what does that mean if you are buying a Rift? If you got your Rift today, um, essentially you can go into you can boot up your Rift, turn on the turn it on, go to a home screen, and boot up the Oculus Store. Um, that is a, a, a valid option. But let's say you want all your games in Steam. Maybe you're also getting a Vive. Uh, maybe you just like having all your games in one library. Uh, maybe you like you know Steam's return policy or something. Well, that is that make, that means you still have the option to buy uh, Rift games here. Um, let me show you. So let's take a look at Windlands. Uh, you see this game here, Windlands, and if you look down, you could see it has uh, th these two little symbols here. This one on the left, that's Steam VR, that's HTC Vive, and this one on the right, that's Oculus Rift. So that means it this game supports both. Over here, Elite Dangerous only has the uh, the Vive symbol. Now I think you could probably still buy this for Rift. I think just the developer is deciding not to sell the Rift version through Steam, and you're gonna get that sometime. Um, but let's uh, let's go through here, see if there's any sort of uh, more information about it. Oop. Pause that. Actually, let me turn on the volume. There we go. All right, hit the back button. Okay, so you can see here it's got it, it tells you VR support, uh, full controller support. Um, again, it kind of tells you what it will work with. So uh, again, the, the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, both virtual reality headsets, but they both uh, can use different inputs. Uh, for example, Vive ships with this controller that you should see in front of me in VR. Uh, actually, two of them. Uh, but Rift only ships with a three with an Xbox One controller at this point. It'll get touch controllers later this year, but that's not an option right now. So Steam, the Steam Store kind of will give you all the information about how this game, if it works with both, what that means, what it'll work with, um, and that's kind of help. That's helpful because you you want to know what kind of like what you're getting uh, and what you'll be able to use it with. So, because this supports, supports Vive and Rift, it works both with the motion controllers and the gamepad as well as well as keyboard and mouse. Although I can't, I, I, it's hard to imagine using a keyboard and mouse during a game um, while you're playing. Um, and again, since this supports both, it's a seated and standing experience. It's not room scale VR. I think a lot of the difference between the games you get that are only Vive and the games you get that are Vive and Oculus Rift are. The big difference is going to be the ones that are only Vive are room scale VR. So let's see, uh, let's see what what here. Butts, maybe that's room scale. Yeah, it doesn't say much about that. Let's see for you. Oh, okay, it looks like they've expanded the. Um, the Steam Store inside of Steam VR. Now it's showing like all kinds of games. So I wonder if I go to search and just go V R. Well, games. All tags. This is probably what I need right here, right? Kind of doesn't help when I don't have like Control F or just quick search. Also, I think I need to fix my IPD. That's a little clear. There we go, VR. 
So, let's see. Uh, I wonder if that works with either one. So you can see, like, keep talking, nobody explodes on on here. Oh, it does say VR right there, VR support, but it doesn't like list either the Vive or the um, or the uh, the Rift. So I, I, I'm kind of wondering what that might mean, what it means. Like, I don't see the emblems here on Dirt Rally, and you can see the Drift is a Rift only game. Like, it's not even a Vive. So that option is available to developers. If they have a game they're selling that only works with the Rift, it's ex it's ex exclusive to the Rift at this point, well, they can do that. That's totally okay. Um, Radial G, I think same thing. I think that's only on Rift. Let's see. Hawking. Man, I'm going to try that in VR. That'll, that sounds like a good time. Um, uh, let's see if there's anything else in here. It doesn't look like it's given me a lot of options. So... We'll go back and let's take a look at my library real quick and just kind of see if anything listed here will work in, in Rift. And it doesn't kind of it doesn't look like it's really kind of giving giving me those that information on this screen. Like uh, virtual desktop, I know that works in both. Um, and again, you should be able to launch these games from your Oculus Rift home screen. I think the thing there is is that these developers can go and if they sell their game through Steam, they can also request a code from Oculus and they get as many free codes as they want. Uh, they can then give that to you and you can uh, load that into your Oculus home store and load it up in the home uh, there. So you don't have to like go to, through a third party app to sort of boot your uh, Oculus Rift games because that could be really inconvenient uh, and really frustrating. But I think that's going to do it for this walkthrough. Um, just kind of wanted to show that to you guys, show you how that works. Uh, we'll have more on virtual reality, uh, both Oculus Rift and HTC Vive as we move ahead. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.